EV3 Basic is compatible with almost all the standard NXT and EV3 sensors and has the ability to work with third-party sensors too, using I2C for example. It's helpful but not obligatory to attach sensors to sensor ports on the EV3 according to the following convention. Port 1, touch. Port 2, gyro. Port 3, color. Port 4, infrared or ultrasonic. As in the standard LEGO EV3 software, many sensors can be used in different modes. See the sensor appendix on www.ev3basic.com for details. To set the desired mode for the sensor you are using, use sensor.setMode. For example, to set a color sensor on port 3 to mode 1, ambient light intensity, use sensor.setMode 3,1. It's important to always set the mode of the sensor before it is used. To obtain a percentage value between 0 and 100 for a sensor, use sensor.read percent. For example, to obtain a reading of the state of the touch sensor attached to port 1, use sensor.read percent 1. This will return 0 if the sensor button is not pressed and 100 if it is pressed. Here above, is a complete program that plays a 500 Hz tone for 2 seconds at 50% volume if the button is pressed at the moment the program is launched. In this example above, the robot advances until it detects that an obstacle is less than 8 cm in front of the infrared sensor on port 4, then stops the motors and applies the brakes. Distance readings from the IR sensor are very approximate. Best results are obtained with light coloured objects. To obtain from a sensor a single value that is not a percentage, such as a color code number from the color sensor or a distance in millimeter from the ultrasonic sensor, use sensor.readRawValue. Here above, for example, is a program that makes the robot advance until it detects that an obstacle is less than 80 millimeters in front of the ultrasonic sensor on port 4, then stops the motors and applies the brakes. The first parameter of the readRawValue function is the port number, and the second is the index number of the value that is to be extracted from the array of raw results. This index number should normally be zero, except in special cases. See the sensor appendix on www.ev3basic.com. In some rare cases, the sensor will generate multiple values which can be retrieved simultaneously in an array using sensor.readRaw. Examples of situations in which multiple values will be generated include the infrared sensor in mode 1. In this mode, the sensor returns two values representing the distance and direction to an IR beacon, elements 0 and 1 in the array. The color sensor in mode 4 RGB. In this mode, the sensor generates an array of three values. Element 0 is the intensity of red light, element 1 is the green light, and element 2 the blue light. Read more about the read raw function on ev3basic.com.